Shalom. All praises, blessings, glories, and honors to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to my elder apostles and bishop elders of a great millstone who have told me this truth as well of men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom may you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the sea line of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I'm scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. And to you I say Shalom, and Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Rataza. This lesson is edifying and informative. Atonement. At one meant. Condition of being at one with others. A sense not obsolete from atone plus meant. Atone. To be in harmony. Agree. Be in accordance. From adverbial phrase. Aton and C. 1300. In accord. Literally at one. A contraction of at and one. It retains the older pronunciation of one. And so a tone literally is at one. And meant means mind. And so atonement means literally at one mind in harmony with one or in one harmony and we are in the day of atonement which concludes sundown this evening theologically or the theological meaning Reconciliation. The word reconciliation means the restoration of friendly relations. Reunion. Bringing back together again. Of man with Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, through the life, passion, and death of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. And so, all Israel has been reconciled, or some would say reconciled, back to Yahweh through the blood and sacrifice of our beloved Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, after the grace, which means favor, of Yahweh through faith in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, for as it is written, for ye are saved by the grace of Yahweh through faith in Yahweh Shai. And so, Yahweh Shai, through and after his sacrifice, became the atonement for all Israel, so that we may be reconciled back to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. For we had sinned greatly against Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And we still do, you know, because we are still subject to this uh, sinful flesh. 
However, we are not justified by the works of the law. But instead, we are justified by the grace of Yahweh through our faith in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. But do we then make void the law through faith? As it is written, the Most High forbid. May we establish the law by rehearsing the righteous acts. And in so doing, we do not frustrate the grace of Yahweh. Okay? That has been bestowed upon us through our faith in Hamashiach Yahushai. But again, we still uh, keep the Day of Atonement to show our obedience, our certitude, our fear of and in Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, because according to the law, here in the book of Leviticus, the 16th chapter, Every year, an high priest of our nation, of the tribe of Levi, out of the Levitical line of Aaron, had to make a sacrifice for the sins of Israel. And we understand that that high priest was our Lord Yahweh Shai, after a process of time, because we had fallen away so far that the heavenly father Yahweh had to send Yahweh Shai to die for us so that we may be reconciled back to the father through Yahweh Shai's blood through his sacrifice and we will get that soon Lord's willing in the book of Colossians the first chapter one of my favorite chapters now, this is the book of Leviticus, chapter 16, verse 29, because, you know, the Spirit inspired me to look up the word atonement. And, you know, the Spirit pointed out to me that uh, the word atone literally is just a separation between the word at and one. Okay? Atone, at one. <laughs> and the elect are at one, meaning in a harmony, in one mind, with Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Which is beautiful. All oh, praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rachakudash. All right. So now let's read Leviticus chapter sixteen, verse twenty-nine. It says, "And this shall be a statue forever unto you, that in the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, ye shall afflict your souls and do no work at all, whether it be one of your own country." Or a stranger that sojourneth among you. Now, does the term stranger here mean a heathen? No. It just simply means an Israelite foreigner. For one, excuse me, for on that day shall the priest make an atonement for you. To cleanse you, that ye may be clean from all your sins before the Lord Yahweh. And we understand that that priest was ultimately our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. He had became that atonement for us, the nation of Israel, beginning with himself first. So that our sins may be cleansed before the majesty of Yahweh. Because our Lord Yahweh Shah had taken on all the sins of our nation. And remember, it is written that Israel is likened unto the sands of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And also recall that in the book of Job, the sixth chapter, Job's grief was said to have been heavier than the sands of the sea. And if Israel is likened unto the sands of the sea, which cannot be measured, then one can possibly imagine the weight, the grief that Job was experiencing, or rather the weight of the grief that Job was experiencing. And guess what? Our Lord Yahweh Shai took 
on that in addition to all the sins of our nation which is like unto the sands of the sea okay which I found uh, to be extremely heavy how we shot did a very great thing of taking on the sins of our entire nation so much so that when he was in the garden of uh, Gethsemane which means oil press because he was pressed in the spirit because of the job that he had to fulfill in dying for us as a nation you know it, he, he had bled you know he was sweating blood so Yahweh Shah did a very very powerful uh, and great thing man for us as a nation because of his sacrifice we are he here today and we are able to do the things that we do okay doing these lessons going out on the highways and byways it's because of the grace of Yahweh through uh, Yahweh Shah's sacrifice because it was the will of Yahweh that all these things uh, had happened so that we may have another chance okay through Yahweh Shai that we are able to do what we do brothers okay and you a few sisters out there you know doing the works of the uh, elect for we are the hopeful elect we hope that we are of the elect that's why the scripture says to put on as the elect and so we put on as the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rechakodash by doing the things that the elect would do after the will of the Lord because man's going is of the Lord how can a man then understand his own way a man may devise his own way but the Lord directeth his steps and that is why I say after the will of the, of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, so now let's read on. It says, Ye shall afflict your souls and do no work at all, whether it be one of your own country or a stranger that sojourneth among you. So, if you were able to get uh, the Day of Atonement, which is the day off from work, then great. Then, you know, you could you know be at home and be in the spirit you know read pray but if you have to work then that's okay too the lord understands that we are in captivity and that we are rehearsing the righteous acts okay do the best uh, that you can to rehearse the righteous acts okay on the day of atonement be afflicted or souls you don't eat nor drink it's a very solemn uh, high holy day it says for on that day shall the priest make an atonement for you to cleanse you that ye may be clean from all your sins before the Lord Yahweh which shall be a Sabbath of rest unto you and the Sabbath is determined according to the new moon the word moon means month refer to the book of Sirach the 43rd chapter and ye shall afflict your souls new moon is not Saturday sundown uh, Friday sundown this uh, Saturday sundown unless uh, I'm, I'm sorry the Sabbath is not Friday sundown to Saturday sundown unless the new moon falls upon Friday sundown to Saturday sundown because again the Sabbath is determined according to the new moon okay not the full moon but the new moon it says that ye may be clean clean excuse me from all your sins before the Lord Yahweh it shall be a Sabbath of rest unto you and ye shall afflict your souls by a statue forever. And the priest whom he shall anoint and whom he shall consecrate to minister in the priest's office in his father's stead 
shall make the atonement and shall put on the linen clothes, even the holy garments, where even is old English for which is. And he shall make an atonement for the holy sanctuary, and he shall make an atonement for the tabernacle of the congregation and for the altar. And he shall make an atonement for the priests and for all the people of the congregation. And that's what our Lord Yahweh Shah did. And this shall be an everlasting statue unto you to make an atonement for the children of Israel for all their sins once a year. And Yahweh Shah came and did that once. Okay? He came and did that once. And that still stands even as I speak. Okay? That's why we are justified through the law of uh, faith and not by the works of the law. Okay? Through faith in Yahweh Shai. But do we then make void the law through faith? No, the most I forbid. And he did as the Lord Yahweh commanded Moses. So this is the book of um, Colossians chapter 1. Verse 7, it says, Giving thanks unto the Father Yahweh, which had made us meet, which means uh, beneficial, uh, suitable, to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. And how did the Heavenly Father Yahweh did this? Through uh, sending Yahweh Shai to die for us 2,000 years ago on the cross, on the earth, in the flesh, who had delivered us from the power of the darkness, which is sin, because we are subject to these uh, bodies of sin, these chains of darkness, and that translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through what? Through his blood. And there we go. Even, which means which is, the forgiveness of sins. So Yahweh Shai became our atonement, who is the image, but we still keep the day of atonement to show that you know, we are still in that uh, spirit of uh, a broken and contrite heart penitence you know and that we uh, want to please the Lord you know we fear Yahweh so we, we keep it you know we want to please the Lord it says, it says in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins who is the image of the invisible power Yahweh the firstborn of every creature, right? He is the only begotten son. He was the only spirit that the heavenly for the hour created. And then through him, he created everything else. The angels, the elect, okay? The heavens. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, referred to First uh, Corinthians 12 chapter. It's also uh, a chapter in the book of Ephesians, who is the beginning of the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might be, he might have the pre preeminence. For it pleased the Father Yahweh that in him should all fullness dwell. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, so we see that we've been reconciled back to the Father through Yahweh Shai's blood, through his sacrifice. And having made peace through the blood, blood of his cross between Yahweh and Israel, by him, because he's a mediator, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, right? By him, I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. And so... Our Lord Yahweh Shai is worthy to be praised forever and ever. Okay. In the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. If he continue in the faith. So we're going to appear unblameable and unreprovable in the sight of Yahweh through Yahweh Shai if you continue in the faith, if you continue in the faith grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven. 
whereof I pull and made a minister. Okay. Man, I love this chapter, man, so much. But um, I'll stop there. Um, point has been made. To Wadi Yahweh Bashimir Shai for the inspiration to do this lesson. Um, on the Day of Atonement, the word atonement means uh, at one mind. At one and meant mind. Okay. In one mind, in, 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 in harmony with one. Or simply in harmony. So with that, I pray this lesson was edifying, comforting to the elect. Until the next, Lord's willing, I say shalom to the elect.